We continue today with chapter 14, The Happy Learner. The Holy Spirit needs a happy learner in whom his mission can be happily accomplished. You who are steadfastly devoted to misery must first recognize that you are miserable and not happy. The Holy Spirit cannot teach without this contrast, for you believe that misery is happiness. This has so confused you that you have undertaken to learn to do what you can never do, believing that unless you learn it, you will not be happy. You do not realize that the foundation on which this most peculiar learning goal depends means absolutely nothing. Yet, it may still make sense to you. Have faith in nothing and you will find the, quote, treasure that you seek. Yet, you will add another burden to your already burdened mind. You will believe that nothing is of value and will value it. A little piece of glass, a speck of dust, a body or a war are one to you. For if you value one thing made of nothing, you have believed that nothing can be precious and that you can learn how to make the untrue true. The Holy Spirit, seeing where you are but knowing where you are elsewhere, begins his lessons in simplicity with the fundamental teaching that the truth is true. This is the hardest lesson you will ever learn, and in the end, the only one. Simplicity is very difficult for twisted minds. Consider all the distortions you have made of nothing, all the strange forms and feelings and actions and reactions that you have woven out of it. Nothing is so alien to you as the simple truth, and nothing are you less inclined to listen to. The contrast between what is true and what is not is perfectly apparent, yet you do not see it. The simple and the obvious are not apparent to those who would make places, palaces and royal robes of nothing, believing they are kings with golden crowns because of them. All this the Holy Spirit sees and teaches simply that all this is not true. To those unhappy learners who would teach themselves nothing and delude themselves into believing that it is not nothing, the Holy Spirit says with steadfast quietness, the truth is true, nothing else matters, nothing else is real, and everything beside it is not there. Let me make the one distinction for you that you cannot make, but need to learn. Your faith in nothing is deceiving you. Offer your faith to me, and I will place it gently in the holy place where it belongs. You will find no deception there, but only the simple truth, and you will love it because you will understand it. Like you, the Holy Spirit did not make truth. Like God, He knows it to be true. He brings the light of truth into the darkness and lets it shine on you. And as it shines, your brothers see it, and realizing that this light is not what you have made, they see in you more than you see. They will be happy learners of the lesson this light brings to them, because it teaches them release from nothing and from all the works of nothing. The heavy chains that seem to bind them to despair, they do not see as nothing, until you bring the light to them, and then they see the chains have disappeared, and so they must have been nothing and you will see it with them, because you taught them gladness and release. They will become your teachers in release and gladness. When you teach anyone that truth is true, you learn it with him. And so you learn that what seemed hardest was the easiest. Learn to be a happy learner, 
you will never learn how to make nothing everything. Yet see that this has been your goal and recognize how foolish it has been. Be glad it is undone, for when you look at it in simple honesty, it is undone. I said before, be not content with nothing, for you have believed that nothing could content you. It is not so. If you would be a happy learner, you must give everything you have learned to the Holy Spirit to be unlearned for you. And then begin to learn the joyous lessons that come quickly on the firm foundation that truth is true. For what is builded there is true and built on truth. The universe of learning will open up before you in all its gracious simplicity. With truth before you, you will not look back. The happy learner meets the conditions of learning here as he meets the conditions of knowledge in the kingdom. All this lies in the Holy Spirit's plan to free you from the past and open up the way to freedom for you. For truth is true. What else could ever be or ever was? This simple lesson holds the key to the dark door that you believe is locked forever. You made this door of nothing and behind it is nothing. The key is the only light that shines away the shapes and forms and fears of nothing. Accept this key to freedom from the hands of Christ who gives it to you that you may join him in the holy task of bringing light. For like your brothers you do not realize the light has come and freed you from the sleep of darkness. Behold your brothers in their freedom, and learn of them how to be free of darkness. The light in you will waken them, and they will not leave you sleep. The vision of Christ is given the very instant that it is perceived. Where everything is clear, it is all holy. The quietness of its simplicity is so compelling that you will realize it is impossible to deny the simple truth. For there is nothing else. God is everywhere, and His Son is in Him with everything. Can He sing the dirge of sorrow when this is true? And from the workbook, Lesson 106. Let me be still and listen to the truth. If you will lay aside the ego's voice, however loudly it may seem to call, if you will not accept its petty gifts that give you nothing that you really want, if you will listen with an open mind that has not told you what salvation is, then you will hear the mighty voice of truth quiet in power, strong in stillness, and completely certain in its messages. Listen and hear your Father speak to you through His appointed voice, which silences the thunder of the meaningless, and shows the way to peace to those who cannot see. Be still today and listen to the truth. Be not deceived by voices of the dead, which tell you they have found the source of life and offer it to you for your belief. Attend them not, but listen to the truth. Be not afraid to circumvent the voices of the world. Walk lightly past their meaningless persuasion. Hear them not. Be still today and listen to the truth. Go past all things which do not speak of Him who holds your happiness within his hand, held out to you in welcome and in love. Hear only him today, and do not wait to reach him longer. Hear one voice today. Today the promise of God's word is kept. Hear, and be silent. He would speak to you. 
He comes with miracles a thousand times as happy, as wonderful as those you have ever dreamed or wished for in your dreams. His miracles are true. They will not fade when dreaming ends. They end the dream instead and last forever, for they come from God to his dear son, whose other name is you. Prepare yourself for miracles today. Today allow your father's ancient pledge to you and all your brothers to be kept. Hear him today and listen to the word which lifts the veil that lies upon the earth and wakes all those who sleep and cannot see. God calls to them through you. He needs your voice to speak to them, for who could reach God's Son except his Father, calling through yourself? Hear him today and offer him your voice to speak to all the multitude who wait to hear the word that he will speak today. Be ready for salvation. It is here and will today be given unto you. And you will learn your function from the one who chose it in your Father's name for you. Listen today and you will hear a voice which will resound through the world through you. The bringer of all miracles has need that you receive them first and thus become the joyous giver of what you received. Thus does salvation start and thus it ends. When everything is yours and everything is given away, it will remain with you forever. And the lesson has been learned. Today we practice giving, not the way you understand it now, but as it is. Each hour's exercises should begin with this request for your enlightenment. I will be still and listen to the truth. What does it mean to give and to receive? Ask and expect an answer. Your request is one whose answer has been waiting long to be received by you. It will begin the ministry for which you came and which will free the world from thinking giving is a way to lose. And so the world becomes ready to understand and to receive. Be still and listen to the truth today. For each five minutes spent in listening, a thousand minds are open to the truth and they will hear the holy word you hear. And when the hour is past, you will again release a thousand more who pause to ask that truth be given them along with you. Today the holy word of God is kept through your receiving it to give away so you can teach the world what giving means by listening and learning it of him. Do not forget today to reinforce your choice to hear and to receive the word by this reminder given to yourself as often as is possible today. Let me be still and listen to the truth. I am the messenger of God today. My voice is His to give what I receive. Let me be still and listen to the truth. Today I would be a happy learner. Today would I realize that Misery is impossible. By opening in humbleness, today I let all things be reinterpreted to the shining light of truth. I turn within to the Holy Spirit to remind me of my reality. Everything is woven together in this whole perception no longer did I seek for scraps when the whole is available this very moment. Today I listen to the truth. Today I learn the simple lesson that the truth is true and only the truth is true. I meet the lessons with this joyful experience. 
and it transfers to everything that I perceive. Today I will be still and listen in the silence to the voice for God which silences the thunder of the meaningless and shows the way to peace to those who cannot see. Today I will not be afraid of love. I open to be engulfed by love and extend love to everything and everyone that I meet or even think of. Today I will be open to give and to receive. I will be still and listen to the truth. Let me be still and listen to the truth. Amen.